Last night I was thinking, what in God's name am I going to make? And I came up with a green chili tuna dish that is made on a Mexican sopa. That's right, sopa de tunas con chili verde. Andy and I went offshore in our kayaks. And we're heading for tuna. And we were fortunate enough, thank God, to hook ourselves up a couple of beautiful, beautiful yellowfin tuna. explain. Here is a sopa. They're made from corn, just like normal tortillas are, but they're thicker and a little more pliable. You fry them so they've got a nice crispy caramelized texture on the outside, but still nice and soft on the inside, and you load them up with yummy food. That was the sopa, and here's the yellowfin tuna. And I took my yellowfin tuna and I've created approximately hot dog sized pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to create a wonderful Mexican dry rub. We're going to toss our tuna strips in the dry rub and we're going to fry them up just a little bit because we want that center to be medium rare. And then we're going to toss it in with our green chili and put it inside of our sopa and add a wonderful cow based cheese and we're going to sprinkle it right on top. And believe me, this dish will drive you nuts. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is heat up some oil. Get probably about a quarter of an inch of oil in there. And heat up, heat up the oil until it just starts to smoke. And then we'll drop our sopas right in there. All right, we're at the smoking point. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, that's what we want. Look at that nice brown color. Wow, perfect. Boy, that looks just about done. This just takes a matter. Look at that. Look at look how gorgeous that is. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's get the dry rub going for our tuna. First of all, the most unique spice is turmeric. Turmeric um, isn't, you wouldn't think that turmeric would be a traditional Latin or Mexican spice, but it is. The Latinos use it quite a bit to color their food more than to flavor it. It offers this wonderful orangish yellow color and it, the, believe me, the food just turns out great. You'll see exactly what it does to our tuna. So I'm going to start off with two tablespoons of turmeric. Bingo. And of course, I love, love the smoky flavor of cumin. So we're gonna go with two tablespoons of cumin. One, two. All right, two tablespoons of kosher salt. One, two. And of course, two tablespoons of black pepper. One, two. Okay, here we go. First one. Mm. 
Look at that beautiful color. Wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. There's one. There's two. We'll do two at a time. We won't press our luck. Okay, gang, now for the trickiest part, the hardest part of this recipe. We're going to place these strips of tuna into our hot frying pan and literally cook them on each side for the count of 10. Believe me, I've practiced this. It works, but you got to trust me. You got to count to 10, flip it over to the next side, count to 10, flip it over. You do that four times. You take it out of the pan, put it on a plate and into your refrigerator. It needs to cool down for 10, maybe 15 minutes because only when it's cooled down will we be able to slice it and get beautiful clean slices. And by the way, our green chili is going to be hot. So this is going to be a dish that's going to have hot and cold. It's going to titillate your mouth. Trust me, keep your eye on, on what's going on. Follow me. We're going to make this work. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn. Turn. Ten. Eight. Nine and ten. There we go. And the final count. One, two, eight, nine, and done. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator and let them cool off. A couple of weeks ago, I created a yellowtail fish burger with green chili cheese. I always make extra green chili whenever I'm creating a green chili dish or a chili verde dish. And I store it in the freezer and I use it whenever I want. All right, gang, there's the green chili verde that I took out of the freezer and I'm warming it up in preparation for our dish. All right, I got all three of my pieces all fried up and they're out of the refrigerator. They're nice and cold. So let's start cutting them up. Nice, clean, sharp knife and clean strokes. There we go. Look at that. Look, look at that. I mean, take a look at that. That's perfect. Exactly what we want. Look at that beautiful orange, yellow color. That's what we're looking for. All right, fellas, let's start assembling. Okay, the first thing that's gonna go down is our chili verde. Nice and hot. Scoop it in there. Put a little excess in there. That's perfect, okay. Okay, now we're gonna start putting these wonderful tuna pieces in here. Oh my God, look at that. That's not even done yet. Take a look at that. Oh my God, okay. We're gonna put a little more chili verde on top of this. Just like that. Cotija cheese right on top of that, just like that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Take a look at this, fellas. Sopas de tuna con chili verde. Straight out of the fisherman's belly. Oh my God. I cannot wait to devour this. Go out and get yourself some tuna, yellowfin, bluefin, and make this dish. You're just gonna love it.